is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 11. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakodash, the one of our venerable apostles and others, a great millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, so brother Aharon coming back at you with, a, with another lesson. All right, Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, I have this article here that I wanted to go into. All right, real quick. All right, and it's uh, concerning. Uh, what is known as uh, artificial intelligence and it regards something that so-called Elon Musk all right so-called predicted okay and it's not really a prediction but more of a, a forecast he's basically telling all right what their what their inner workings all right their plans are are, are to um, as basically the end result of their plans he, he basically tells tells it out all right he goes out and opens up his mouth and, and basically spills the beans all right, and that tells you that um, in uh, the book of Psalm, okay, chapter 64 and verse 8, it says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Okay, and, and how are you going to be able to see them? Okay, is by hearing the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's the only way. All right, again, that 100% truth. All right, from, uh, from uh, starting from our elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. Okay. That's how you get the full truth. That's how you'll be able to see are right, these devils and what and flee. Okay? And run. Okay? Let's see. Um Habakkuk chapter 2. All right, in verse uh, in verse 2 it says and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it." Okay? So we're making the the visions, the prophecies, all right, the scriptures, the the, the heavy all right, breakdowns, we're making it, what, understandable, okay, so people can connect the two dots, they can connect the dots or whatever dots are there to connect, all right, so that you can be prepared for the times that we're coming in, all right, so what we teach is not about hate or anything like that, we're just giving you the warning, all right, of what's to come, all right, the same very warning that these people are coming out and, and actually talking about, okay, and this is actually an article that my, my mom actually sent me, and <laughs> she said, she said, oh, the things that you guys have been talking about. You see? So everyone is singing to the tune of prophecy. Everyone is paying attention to prophecy. Why? Because those are the times that we're in. Everything that's going on that's worth paying attention to is all biblical prophecy. Okay? And it's not good for the inhabitants of this world. All right? So let's read. It says, Elon Musk predicts the end of mankind says an apocalypse is close the danger of artificial intelligence okay hmm. and artificial intelligence is spelled what ai all right and it's very interesting why you so use uh an acronym all right or or or, or term called artificial intelligence okay which is known as ai it's interesting why they'll, they'll use that because they don't do anything by accident all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, I have a theory, but we'll, we'll get into it. All right, it says in a recent interview with Joe Rogan, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk spoke about a range of topics, and also warned that human beings only have a few years left before an extinction, or an extinction level event wipes us all out. He didn't specify what type of event he was referring to, but he did say that we needed to be prepared for it. So. That goes to show you that this is highlighting that the prophets of the Lord are the highest uh, uh, level uh, uh, type of man you could ever be. Because here it is, this guy, is, Elon Musk, is, is, is known worldwide. As in, he's one of the richest people on earth. He's the one of the most so-called powerful people on earth when it comes to the, 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 the affairs of this, of this life, of course. Okay, the, the affairs of this world, right? But everybody knows this guy. But yet one thing he doesn't know, even with all the money he has, all the power that so-called he has, right? 
One thing he can't stop is prophecy. Okay, one thing he doesn't understand is prophecy. Because here it is, he's saying, oh, humans have a few years left before an extinction. What does that even what does that even mean? That's not prophecy. That's not biblical. All right, the scriptures never says that there's gonna be a few more years and then there'll be extinction. Extinction of your race. If that's what you're talking about, then yeah. But that's not a few years from now. That's a thousand years. You you, you what you want to es escape the, the thousand years part? <laughs> Yo. These niggas here, man. It says, he also talked about artificial intelligence as the future of humanity and the dangers we face from technology. All right? But yet, you part of the people who are creating the technology. So what are you talking about? Ain't you creating Neuralink? Ain't you trying to put brain chips into people? Do you know what that's going to cause? The, the, these niggas did a test with monkeys. They said all the monkeys died. Okay? Let me prove it. All right, let me see something real quick. Elon Musk, uh, brain chip monkey test. All right, or um, monkey test death. All right, let's see. Right here. This is on abc7news.com, okay? abc7news.com says, Elon Musk's company confirms monkeys died in brain chip testing project denies animal cruelty. Of course he's going to deny animal cruelty. These are the same people that deny. Look at millions of people have died off of this jump shot and they still deny it. They still deny it. So of course they're going to deny this. All right, and anyone who's going to take this thing, you're just stupid enough to take it and you're going to be destroyed just for stupidity alone. All right, but there you have it. I'm not going to read the whole article about how they died, but I was just trying to show you that, yes, those tests that they did on those monkeys, they all died during the tests. Okay, so what should I tell you? Is that something you would like to engage in? No matter how, how nice, you know, they paint the brush, you know, no, no matter what kind of color they use. All right. Whatever they use, listen, you don't want to fall for this. Okay? It says, in the Axios interview, Musk said he was worried about artificial intelligence be because it posed a, quote, fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization, end quote, and was potentially more dangerous than nukes. No, no, no. The nukes is for America and different parts of the Earth and different parts of the Earth, but, uh, uh um, the, the extinction of your race, your civilization, will happen when your Yahushai gets, gets here. Okay? Your civilization, the American civilization, the American lifestyle, the American system, all right, of doing things, the, everything that you've seen, the, 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 the culture of sin, the, all that shit ends when your Yahushai gets back. Okay? But your extinction as a race, as a nation, as a people, well, we got to get into Obadiah. Okay, after a thousand years, you're all going to be grouped up and cooked, period. All right. It says, it says he added, it is not a question of if, it's a question of when. This is a huge warning from one of the most influential people in the tech industry, and it should be taken seriously. Musk warned that AI is a fundamental risk, is a fundamental risk to the existence of human, of, a, of human civilization, and that we need to be very careful about its development. He said, he said that uh, he, he has long been a proponent of artificial intelligence and he believes that its advancement will eventually spell the end of humanity. So why is he a proponent for it? What is he trying to, what is he saying there? Is he trying to say that he's pushing for the end of humanity? If that was the case? Well, it was noted that AI systems are fast becoming smarter than the human brain. We need to be careful about the development of AI. If we don't act fast, we may not have much time to prevent a catastrophic event. Hmm. Musk said, quote, AI is a fundamental existential risk for human civilization. I keep sounding the alarm bell, but until people see robots going down the street killing people, they don't know how to react because it seems so ethereal. Look, why is he, what, what is this guy? whoa <laughs> okay 
It says, some say we have less than a, than a five-year window to get a handle on AI before it's too late. He's the founder of Tesla, SpaceX, and several other successful companies, so he's not someone who should be taken lightly. Well, you forgot Neuralink. Right? That's, the, that's the real real thing. Forget about Tesla. You can't forget about Neuralink. Okay? Because that's really his biggest project. He didn't care about no Tesla and all that shit. No, that was just to build him up. Okay, SpaceX and all that. He's, his main goal is, is uh, Neuralink. Okay? It says, quote, I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some regula regulatory oversight, maybe at the national and international level, just to make sure that we don't do something very foolish, he said. Listen to that. It, that let's get this. Let's get this. Oh, my God. Hmm. Let's get this real fast. All right. Here's a book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 8. All right. It says, um, they were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Okay? Let's read what he said again. It says, I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be a, there should be some regulatory oversight, maybe at the national and international level, just to make sure that we don't do something very foolish, he said. You hear that? So you guys have all the power in the earth. All right? Job 9.24 says, that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And in this very article, we've read him saying that he's a proponent, all right, for robots that could potentially be walking down the street and killing people, okay? And then he's going to turn around and say, we need to be, we need to have some type of international and national regula regulatory system, all right, to make sure we don't do anything foolish. You have power, but you need to be controlled so you don't do anything foolish. That shows you that he is what? They are children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They are viler than the earth. Okay, Job 30 and 8. Because these devils, you leave them alone, they'll fuck around and blow themselves up, man. Testing shit here, testing shit there. Next thing you know, they set some shit up and boom, 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 boom. It's over with. All right? And you, you turn around and be like, yeah, how this nigga, you know? It says, um, it's not the first time Musk has warned about the dangers of AI. In fact, he's been warning us about this for years. In 2014, he said that AI is our biggest existential threat and compared it, uh, compared its development to summoning the demon, end quote. This nigga here, the develop, man, listen. They're not using these words and terminologies for nothing, man. Okay? He said it, it and compared it, compared its development to summoning the demon. Hence, you have intelligence. The word intelligence literally means de demon. Okay? Or demon means intelligent. Okay? So, artificial demon. They're summoning the demon. Okay? And what is the demon ultimately going to do? Is, is, is going to what? It's going to uh, create or uh, create uh, autonomous weapons that would destroy humanity or that could destroy humanity. Okay? That's what they're trying to do. And they're using what? AI, artificial intelligence. All right? Now, when you go into the scriptures, right? That same name, AI, is actually was actually a city. Okay? A city in the book of, uh, in the book of Joshua. Okay, and it was pronounced I-E. Okay, same spelling, different pronunciation. They say A-I, right? They just pronounce the letters. When you pronounce the letters and make it into a word, it'll be pronounced I-E. Okay, now when you go into that word I-E, okay, you know what it means? Let's see. The word I-E means what? Heap of ruins. Okay, heap of ruins. So what's going what's gonna to be ruined? Humanity. How are they going to ruin humanity? Through their technology. Okay? What kind of technology? Artificial intelligence. And Elon Musk said artificial intelligence is like what? Is like development artificial intelligence. Developing artificial intelligence is like what? Summoning the demon. You hear? So they're summoning a certain spirit, a certain demonic energy through their technology 
through artificial intelligence, through the Internet of Things, through the Internet of Bodies, what? To create that beast system, ultimately to destroy humanity. Okay? And to rebel against Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? So this thing is, they, they're pushing it. They're pushing it, man. All right? They're pushing it, and they're going to keep on pushing until the Lord Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai stops them. Okay? Until the Lord Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai stops them, man. All right? There's a book of Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 15. It says, For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right? And that's why, this is why, all right, all these little things that you're seeing that we're reading about, all right, it's all, it's all anger in the Lord, man. You're pushing his buttons, man. But it's all to what? To fulfill prophecy of what? That, that, that thermonuclear destruction that's going to hit Babylon the Great. Okay? It has to make sense. All right? The Lord is exposing America and showing the world why America is going to be destroyed. All right? Verse 16, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay? How is he going to uh, slay the many? Through the system, uh, through uh, uh, artificial intelligence, i.e. Okay? I.e., which means what? Heap of ruins. The people are going to be ruined. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay? So Esau just always does this play on words, but hey, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, we know what's going on, all right? There's a book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, and verse 11. It says, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, okay? So these devils are all working together, all right, to create a, a, a force that will ultimately come against uh, uh, the way Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set up for mankind to live, all right? They're destroying people through the ideology, and they want to destroy people ultimately through what? The technology. Okay? Through the technology, man. Alright? But that's why the scripture says, and this was said by Yahushai, that what? If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay? But it's not possible. That's why only the two-thirds and the rest of you heathens are the ones who are going to be deceived to receive the mark of the beast. And if you're in America here, forget about it. You're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Okay? Point blank. Period. All right, so I'm leaving it off there, Lord willing, you've been edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash, the water Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and until next time, Shalom.